Hey, what is up, baby boy, baby girl? Let's lock this tea, honey. As you can see by the title of this video, we'll be talking about my girl, No Money, one of my favorite pop stars out here, my favorite black pop stars out here who's doing the most. And today, I am here to tell you guys that No Money was definitely worth the wait. And here's why. Let's lock this tea. Straight dopamine. Nomani's first rise to fame came in 2012 when she was put in a girl group called Fifth Harmony which was formed on The X Factor in 2012. And since then the girls have released hits after hits but in 2016 the girls would announce their disbandment and pursuing a solo career. So since then Nomani has been riding the waves as a solo artist and she has released hit singles like Motivation, Wild Side with Cardi B, Waves featuring Black, which is a song that nobody talks about. How dare you? But honestly guys, that's a hit. And finally y'all, we are here. She is the moment. She is the star. Let her have a moment. She deserves it. Nomani released her debut album called Dopamine. And when I tell you that Dopamine is the girl that she thinks she is, I mean it. This album is one of my favorite albums of 2024. This is a pop and R&B influence album and is straight up giving dopamine. And honestly, as much as people have been criticizing her over releasing new music on time, being consistent, I get it. We, we, we get it. It's okay. But honestly, I feel like No Money deserves to take her time. She deserves to take her time. And she has a song on the album that says, <laughs> Take my time. I love the album. I cannot. I just love the album. And I love No Money. So I feel like No Money deserves to take her time. To take her time to work on her sound. Work on her craft. Coming out of a girl group straight into your solo career is just not an easy thing to do. Some people have insecurities. Some people have things that they would like to work on and discover about themselves. And I feel like Nomani is one of those girls. That's why I love her. We relate so much. Dopamine the album dropped on June 14 and honestly it came to very much of little promotion. I feel like the label RCA which is a label that she is signed under they don't fully support her music they don't fully support her in being the superstar that she is she's a star I mean Nomani has everything it takes to be on top she can sing she can dance she can give you a hella of a gut performance honey let's talk the tea okay and sometimes there are things that you just cannot control like you can put in so much effort but then the outcome won't necessarily match with your efforts because you have now a big machine to please. You have a big machine to make sure that they support your music. And also, she has fans to please. But I want to make this point. As the Nomani Nation, we don't really support our girl as much as we say. When she's not releasing music, we are out just screaming, Consistency, where is the music? But when the music has been released, Nobody's talking about the music. Nobody's buying. Nobody's streaming. Let's talk that tea. But honestly, I feel like the label is also holding her back. And also, the team. Can we talk the team for once? Right now. I feel like the team is not really like invested that much into her career. Both the label and the team, they're just all over the place. I feel like they don't know what to do with no money. And at this point, I just wish my girl can just go independent and just do it like Tinashe is. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't really need a big machine to make sure that you are that star. No money is that B. She can sell regardless. We need some music video. And now baby boy, baby girl, let's clock this album. Like I said before, this album is one of my favorite releases of 2024. It is giving straight up dopamine. It's that R&B. It's giving that a bit of influence of the uh, um, 2000 um, R&B. It's giving, it's giving me a bit of Brandy. It's giving me a bit of M Monica. Like it's just giving everything that needs to be in an R&B album. Do you get what I mean? I honestly love and love this album because finally 
we have new music from Nomani and we are hearing music. Do you know what I mean? Finally, we have music. We have music from Nomani. I feel like that is one of the things that makes it so special for me. I've been a fan of Nomani since The X Factor. She's been one of that girl that I was like, no money and with harmony she doesn't really belong there she needs to go out and do her own thing and finally she did that i've been a fan since motivation and i've been waiting for new music i'm just happy and grateful that i have music that i can listen to from no money and i actually love what i'm hearing i feel like no money honestly went through a lot not just in the music industry but also her personal life she had a lot of things to really like take care of on top of that she had fans to please she had a lot of you know expectation and i feel like also the the overhype she was too overhyped in a way um there were certain expectations now that were put on her like to do great because now they were like no money is the next beyonce no money is the next rihanna and i feel like no money is just the next no money period okay now let's talk about the songs that are on the album first up i liked big boy like i said still still is good still is great but i feel like after the chorus um it kind of goes nowhere but I still like the song. I, I I still love the song. Still love that song. Um, All Yours, All Yours is one of my favorite songs on the album. I love how she sounds. I love the production. Like, it's just giving. Um, I love the vocals. Like, she gave it her all. I just, I love how she channeled that um early 2000 brandy sound i just loved it and um the next song was lights on lights on is actually like my least favorite song on the album and it's one of those songs that i don't really go back to and be like oh, i love this song but you know the chorus is fun it's cute and whatever but it's one of my least favorite take my time is giving that janet jackson moment and honestly i live for it i live for it i love the up tempo beat that it has i feel like if the song could have like visuals or music video it would absolutely eat insomnia honey insomnia was one of those songs that leaked before the album and i did have a listen on this song and i feel like the leaked version of the song was actually terrible so when i actually listened to this one i was kind of living up next child is candy paint child i go back to this song this song has been on repeat for me like i just love everything about the song she gonna make it tick 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 prom, prom, she ate down i was gagging when i heard the snippet of the song i was one of those girls who were like this should be your next single like release the song girl we need the song right now and when she released the song i was i still love the song because now i got to hear the full song and it's actually a very fun song it's very addictive it's one of those songs that you just cannot escape it's that song that is just like i feel like it's that one song from the album that screams no money are you fucking serious this is fucking Nomani. And honestly, child, I'm so happy that we have music from Nomani. Finally, music that we've been asking for since 2018, 2019. And we finally have the song. So the album for me was a very solid debut album. Like, it gave what it was supposed to give. As for the rest of the album, I do like Grip. It's kind of like giving in a way. But the, the song goes nowhere. 159 ugh, i just don't like that song i uh, no that is just like a no-no for me distance tantrums little secrets and then we have wild side they are okay it's just um yeah yeah it's kind of those songs that i don't really go back to but other than that child you know money was definitely worth the wait she is the moment and she deserves to have this moment do you get what i mean like there's so much that she can do honestly Thank you.